look at my hair. Look at my hair. All these baby hairs. I can't get them to tame, tame down. Oh no. Oh no. Moi kaikki. Tässä videossa I'll be discussing the question word kuka. question word kuka, 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 translates to the English question word who. So kuka and who can actually be used, I think, in pretty much identical situations. So any situation, I was trying to rack my brain, I couldn't really think of any situation where you would use an English who, where you couldn't use kuka in. Now, just the side note, uh, you can add endings to kuka. So, for example, kuka could be turned into kuka kohan um, to kind of make a more complex sentence. But let's not worry about that now. Let's just focus on the basic form kuka. Um, if you know how to use kuka, you can actually start building a lot of um, different kinds of question sentences. So just one quick pronunciation tip. Um, be careful with the the singular K in this word. So, um, kuka spelled K-U-K-A means who, but if you add an extra K there into the middle, so K-U-K-K-A, it means flower. Now, obviously, based on context, people will understand what you're saying, but um, just be aware that in Finnish there are words like this where a slight difference in pronunciation can make the word change its meaning. So, kuka, who? Kuka, flower. Kuka. It's like there's like a little pause between the pronunciation of the K. So like, kuka. Kuka, kuka. Kuka, kuka. Kuka, kuka. Kuka, kuka. Kuka, 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 kuka. <laughs> like, it, it, if your language has this kind of similar um, singular double kind of pronunciation, it might be quite easy to hear. But for example, in English, we don't really have this, so it might be a bit difficult to hear. But just practice listening and practice pronouncing. Kuka, kuka. And I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. I do have a couple videos where I go more into depth about the pronunciation of this. But anyways, back to kuka. So kuka means who. Since it's quite self-explanatory what it means, I thought we could just dive straight into the example sentences. So example sentence number one. Kuka tuli tänne eilen? Kuka, who, tuli is the past tense of tulla. So kuka tuli, who came? Tänne means here. Eilen means yesterday. So kuka tuli tänne eilen translates to who came here yesterday. Kuka tuli tänne eilen? Kuka, who, kuka tuli tänne eilen? I would say the puhekeli would be the same as this. You can't really shorten this much more than what it already is, so I would say the puhekeli is the exact same. Okay. Sample sentence number two. Kuka toi on? Okay, so the kirjakieli version would be kuka tuo on. Uh, Puhekieli version would be kuka toi on. So this sentence translates to who is that? Who is that? Kuka who toi that? Or in this case, it would refer to that person. Toi, that person on is. Kuka toi on? Who is that? Who is that? Kuka toi on? Kuka toi on? Example sentence number three. Kuka menee huomenna töihin? Kuka, who, menee, is going, huomenna, tomorrow, töihin, to work. Kuka menee huomenna, huomenna, töihin, töihin, to work. Kuka menee huomenna töihin? Kuka teistä menee huomenna töihin? Who of you are going to work tomorrow? Kuka menee huomenna töihin? All right, sample sentence at number four. So the puhekieli version would be Kuka haluu mennä munkaa Helsinkiin? Kuka, who, haluu, wants to, mennä, go, 
mun ka would be with me. Mun mi ka kanssa with mun ka with me. Uh, Helsinki. To Helsinki. Kuka haluu mennä mun ka Helsinki? Who wants to go to Helsinki with me? Kuka haluu mennä Helsinki mun ka? Kuka haluu mennä mun ka Helsinki? Word order can also be changed to Kuka haluu mennä Helsinki mun ka? Kuka haluu mennä Helsinki mun ka? Both sound natural. Kuka haluu mennä mun ka Helsinki? Kuka haluu mennä Helsinki mun ka? But the keyword here is kuka. Who? Who wants to go to Helsinki with me? All right, and the last sample sentence I have is Kuka on vanhin meistä? If you're in a group and you want to ask Who's the oldest one out of us? You could ask Kuka on vanhin meistä? Or Kuka meistä on vanhin? Again, the word order doesn't matter so much in this. Um, usually you would, you would have Kuka first. Like in English, the question word would be first. Sounds fine either way. Kuka on meistä vanhin or kuka on vanhin meistä. They both sound fine. To my ears at least. So kuka, who, on, is, meistä, out of us, vanhin, oldest. Kuka on meistä vanhin? Kuka on vanhin meistä? Kuka. All right, and that was the end of this video. So I have a Kuka question for you. Kuka teistä haluu kommentoida tätä videoa? If you do, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Press like. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyways. Whoa. Uh, thank you for watching, and I guess that just about concludes this video. Till next time.